Welcome to this video. What we're gonna do now is talk about how you can create a rig for your DSLR or camera, cinema camera. So what we have here is a Lumix G85. This is not a very expensive camera. Uh, it's been around for a little while now, but what I like about it is it has this flip out screen, which needs to be cleaned, uh, but it's got a lot of uh, really cool cool things about it because first of all it is a mirrorless so it is um, a very light camera interchangeable lenses we also have the micro four thirds mount in there um, and there's so much that we can do here so step number one you have to get your camera um, and purchase a cage now um, you don't need a cage I'm going to show you a way in which you can do this without a cage and that's going to be uh, for a vlogging setup we're going to do it a couple ways uh, but uh, again, you don't need a cage, but it does help because you do have more options. So if you do have a cage, this is going to be small HD and this does a couple things. Number one, it adds protection to your camera. So with your camera in here, if you drop it, ding it, um, anything like that, it's going to protect your camera very well. Um, we also have a top handle here. This is um, another part of the um, rig. I've also got some just some little uh, quarter mounts on here as well So let's get right to it number one you got to get your camera and you got to put a battery in there So if we go towards the bottom, let's get our uh, charged battery Throw it in there So now we got a camera. We're gonna keep it off for now. Um, there are some settings that we um, Should go over again, but if again if you don't know how to set up your camera for the best settings for shooting video. So once we have our camera, what we're gonna do is put it in the cage immediately. All these things here we're not going to use, but I'm gonna give you an example. Um, we're also gonna talk about the tools and everything that we need. But again, um, I guess before even getting started, we do need as well is a, what you do need as well is a uh, multi-tool. So this is just a cheap multi-tool that uh, I got a long time ago. Why I like it so much is it has this nice flathead portion and a knife. So if I pull this section out, if I close the tool, I've got this nice flathead section. And this is going to be great for, you know, um, tightening different bolts onto your rigs. Uh, it's good for taking your plates on and off if they get stuck. This one um, I do like because you can, it's got its own little kind of lever on here, but sometimes you get stuck um, on set because you know, you don't have a multi-tool. So it's something to have multi-tool. And then the other one I have off to the side here, it's going to be the screws in the right Allen wrench. So this is basically what you need in terms of tools and everything just to kind of get started. And again, we have some other bolts and goodies over there as well. This cage is designed for the G85. Um, how I know that is because it's been used and uh, if you go on Amazon, you can find um, cages for almost any camera. I like small rig, they do a very good job. So as you can see at the bottom here, there is a screw. So we've already got this set up. Let's get this lined up. And what I like to do is try to finger tight it as best as I can. If you don't need to use the tools, then don't use it right away. Again, do not over tighten anything. So what we're gonna do is just kind of get it snug for now. So already that's getting close. This doesn't need much. Let's just tighten it just a little bit. And now we have our cage on here. Uh, I do have one as well for the um, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which is just above us, and it has a cage. So depending on how you mount this and what you're doing with it, um, you don't have to go too crazy. And what I like about cages now too, I can take this battery out right now as well. This comes out very easily. So again, um, they did a really good job um, with the fact that I can get to all of the ports. So make sure if you get a cage, make sure that it, the company that designs it does a good enough job so you can access all of your um, camera settings and everything on it. Like I can take the SD card on and off. 
or I can take the SD card in and out without taking off the cage. I can touch and um, change any setting on the camera um, right away without taking anything off. And this isn't much heavier, but it is a little bit better because in this, um, in this formation, I am able to um, operate the camera. I got more grip on it. Um, and right off the bat, I have a ton of options for mounting mics and protecting the camera. There's just so much good that comes into it. Uh, if you get a you know a thousand to three thousand dollar camera, you may want to just pick up a cage. Uh, this one I believe was like seventy dollars Canadian, so I believe they run around fifty to a hundred dollars, and that's on the low end. If you want to get a better cage, it'll cost a little bit more. Um, but again, I can turn the camera on and off and do all that. So. Uh, we got the first step down, we got our camera, and then number two, we got our cage. And uh, just make sure you have your tools as well. So get your camera tools, get the cage on. Uh, what we're going to do is just mount this um, handle. And the way I had it was up here or back here. It kind of depends what you want. For me, when I use a camera, I like to be able to grab the handle and um, it kind of depends on where you want it. We could set it behind us and with the lens on there, it would balance out nice, um, but it kind of depends on what you want and what you're using it for. Um, the one downside to if you put it this way is that if you're vlogging, you're gonna have a hard time uh, because when you turn the camera, it's just gonna be balanced kind of weird. So, and again, if you have it behind here and you're operating from behind, this may hit your head. So you wanna be careful of that. So I typically like to have it pointed out um, and it, it just depends on what you like and I really recommend experimenting with it because it's going to stabilize your shots. It's gonna give you more of a grip. And then three, uh, you're gonna be able to add much more accessories such as monitors, microphones, and, and more. So here you just tighten a little bit. This isn't the best one, but it works for this design. And again, right now, we're rocking and rolling already. So if I'm behind the camera, I can put this to my my eye and yeah, we're all kind of ready to go. Uh, I believe there's another little screw here that you can put in. Um, it's very small, um, so it does get a little bit tighter, but I found that um, if I put this in, it, it's just it's too many things when I wanna take it on and off and this holds up quite fine. Uh, the next step, I think is very important. You got to put a plate on because if you don't have a plate on here, then it defeats the purpose of making this very quick to access and change. Line it up, tighten it. Now we have a plate. Boom, put on a tripod. Ready to go. Lens will do towards the end. So, um, say you're filming, let's try to create somewhat of a scenario. Let's pretend that we're going out and we have to be able to shoot B-roll for a project. So again, this is a camera rig for cinema setup. We have a handle so we could take it in and out of our bag very quickly. Um, one thing that we can do is we can use a adapter. So we've talked about this in a different um, lecture, a different video and we've also shown you how to modify lenses. So go to that video. We're going to have, if you want to get into modifying lenses, uh, old stills lenses and converting them for video use, I recommend watching that. So let's put this on. And then now, which we won't use right away, now we can grab a lens, this is a 28 millimeter lens. This is a old um, Zeiss, contact Zeiss lens, beautiful stills lens. And then with it on here, we've already got a nice little cinema rig. And all we gotta do is put our hand under there and we can start shooting there. So let's just take this off for now. If we're filming, say an interview and we're doing some running and gunning, let's just pretend that we need a lavalier microphone. So this is going to be a road link. And on the side here, We've got two spots where we can put this on the cold shoe. So let's put her on here and tighten it down. So this fits nice and snug. Let's get it towards the middle. So as we tighten this down, 
All we have to do is go to our microphone port, plug that in, so make sure it's in the mic one, and bam, we've got wireless audio. So all you gotta do is turn this guy on, and there we go. We're starting to, starting to really build this out. So let's throw the lens back on as well. Let's line up the red dots. Again, that's a good trick. Line up the red dots if you have them. You can use a little shotgun microphone, and this is great for vlogging. You could also use smaller lenses, which we'll talk about in the next video as well. So let's fire this on real quick. Um, so we're at ISO 800. Let's open up the aperture just to make sure. Okay, we're at an F2.8. So if we want to get some nice tight shots here with the bolts, we can. So we got a little focus peaking there. This is not going to be steady, but again, we could um, we could rack focus and say just get a couple little shots here. So just move a couple items there. So we could rack focus from one item to the next. So we'll go to the middle and then the back. So we got a nice little rig here. So this would be great for B-roll if you set up your image stabilization. And it's just kind of a unique perspective. And with this on a tripod, you'll get some pretty awesome shots as well. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for vlogging because it's heavy. We're gonna show you a different setup, but this is going to be the setup. You got your sound, your visuals in terms of your lenses, you have your cables and um, basically everything's accessible on this camera. So hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you don't have the cage, um, I would do my best to just utilize the cold shoe mount that you have on the top. And if you don't even have a DSLR, you can do something similar with your, um, your iPhone. So uh, again, this is how you rig up your DSLR. And we'll see you in the next video.